Well, good morning, everybody. It's another In the Word Wednesday video. I'm just really excited to be back with the video. We didn't do it last week. We had a special, wonderful Wednesday night together last week with uh, with the fireside chat. So we just greatly enjoyed that. Well, I gave away one book to the last video, and that winner was Betsy Amato. You're, you're going to get that book. 50 Reasons Why Jesus Came and Died, a wonderful book to read as you're going into Easter and, and celebrating Christ's resurrection. And I'm going to give two more books away this week, Lord willing, if I can get people to comment on this video. I want you to comment and share what God's been teaching you through his word. We want to hear from you. I, I get a blessing each week because I get to listen to somebody, and you do too if you're watching the video, of somebody sharing what God has taught them in the word. And I want to hear from you. It's a blessing to me and encouragement to others in the comment section uh, below. So today I got Elder Brian. So Brian Carlton is one of our elders here at Lakeside. We're just so thankful for him. And, and I'm just looking forward to hearing what God's been teaching you in the word, man. I'm excited to be here this morning, man. I, yeah, I it's just, great I'm, to be. I hope you guys comment. I, I'd like to know what yep. you're learning too. We we uh, as church leadership want to hear those things. We want to know about Absolutely. those things. So please do that. So uh, I want to get started first uh, because the way I look at reading my Bible, there's a couple couple ways I look at it. One of the first things is uh, you can I can read for familiarity, and that's right. like reading through the Bible, um, kind of getting a lay of the land, mm -hmm. um, seeing how things are structured, and just becoming familiar with God's Word. Great thing to do. The other thing I, I see it as is reading it for intimacy. Mm. And that's really right. like the deep dive, yeah. digging out those truths as the kids see in Kids for Truth, the nuggets of gold. I like yeah. that song. Um, yep. And that's what I've been doing lately. I've been doing that deep dive into the book of Hebrews. Mm. Um, so I, I want to give a little bit of background real quick on Hebrews. Um, Hebrews uh, was written, most people would say, to some Greek-speaking Jews and all throughout the book, uh, the author of Hebrews is pointing to how Jesus is better. Jesus yep. is, has the better covenant, yep. the better priesthood, the better sacrifice than the Old Testament. <laughs> and these people that it was written to were in danger of falling back into their old ways. They were Greek-speaking mm -hmm. Jews, so they were wanting to go back to the Mosaic Law yep. and to sacrifice and to their own way of getting righteousness, not through Christ. <laughs> and so throughout the book... Um, that's what the author is showing. And I do that because as you read the book, then you can think yep. about those things sure. that way and think about well, what does this mean in, in light of that? Yep. So in chapter one, which is where I'm at, I'm almost done with chapter one. Um, most of chapter one, they talk about, the author talks about angels and how Christ is superior to angels. Mm -hmm. yep. The verse that stuck out to me most through this, as I've been studying this, is verse 13. I'm going to read it to you. It says, and to which of the angels has he ever said, sit at my right hand until I make your enemies a footstool for your feet? Hmm. And that is a, that's a quote of Psalm 110, hmm. verse 1. And, you know, there's, <laughs> when I think about this, there's so much to think yeah. about just in that little verse. Yep. Um, but I think about, one of the things I think about is, it says, sit at my right hand. Um, in the Old Testament, right hand meant like power and authority. Yeah. And, right hand man. Yes, exactly. Right? Your yep. right hand man, the guy yep. you can count on. Yep. Jesus is sitting there next to God the Father at his right hand. Mm -hmm. And he has power and authority and is in control of everything. As a believer, that's comforting to me. Absolutely. That's that's a great Absolutely. truth. <laughs> Number two, sitting at the right hand, um, he's sitting. He's done. Yep. You know, Easter's coming up. Yep. And Absolutely. we're going to celebrate the death, burial, and resurrection of our Lord and Savior, Jesus yep, Christ. That's right. And, you know, on the cross, he said, it is finished. finished. Yep. And later on in Hebrews, it talks about how Jesus made that sacrifice and sat down, and he's done. Yep. He is a better pre high priest in that the old priests, the Old Testament, they had to keep sacrificing to cover sins. Yep. Jesus died to take away my sin and yep. Joel's sin that's and your good. sin. It's really good. It's done. And lastly... The uh, until I make your enemies a footstool for your feet, and I was like, a footstool for my feet. Hmm. What? That's and wow. and yeah. that to me, when I when I read that, that's the end game. That's the end. Yep. We know the Absolutely. end. We yep. know that Jesus is victorious. Yep. 
that we're going to be spending eternity with him in heaven if we put our faith and trust in his finished work on the cross. And what a comfort that is to know no matter what I'm going through, yeah, that we have that hope. Absolutely. We have that knowledge that mm -hmm. it's not going to last forever. We're going to be there That's with right. our Savior someday. And right. what a comfort that is. And I'm just excited. Like I said, this is the way I'm yeah. doing this. It's a slower study. Yep. And I'm excited to get in and go through the rest of Hebrews. And maybe, Lord yeah. willing, someday I'll touch back base, that's, come back here and touch base with you guys again yeah, on the Lord Wednesday. Absolutely. That's that's really good, Brian. Thanks for sharing that. I know, you know, that that the I've heard it said that Jesus, when he sat down at the right hand of God, was that's the posture of completion. Mm. That's saying, you know, yes. when I'm finished doing a job or working hard outside, I want to sit down and just relax. Yeah. And that was Jesus. He finished his mission that he came to accomplish on yeah. the earth and he did it. And then that whole imagery there, the footstool of his enemies and everything. One day the enemy of sin, I'm so thankful for that. Yeah, I am too. That I can't wait for that, that day. I struggle with every day of my life. Is gonna be my. It's gonna be footstool. Mm -hmm. It's it's gonna be underneath. It's gonna be it's underneath. Gonna be gone, yep, done. it's gone. And I I'm so thankful for that. That will be so. that will be a glorious day. Yep, glorious oh, day. Praise the Lord, man. That's awesome. All right. Well, I hope that gives you some encouragement today. It should. It, it really should give you some encouragement to get through this week uh, ahead and going through those struggles that we all go through mm -hmm. and finding our hope in Christ and what He has accomplished and what the reality is going to be. Uh, one day and so just uh, just want to encourage you to get into the word because that's yes. where we find that hope that's where we find those reminders when we need them uh, of that hope so get in the word this week turn up the word uh, here this week and we'll see you next week for another in the word Wednesday